what is going on everybody so today we have a very special review because today we will be reviewing the first five episodes of amazon prime video the hunters now i'm been super excited for this like when i seen the trailer back in november of the teaser i couldn't wait to get my hands on the screeners for this movie and thanks to the good people at amazon prime i was given a chance to review the first five episodes of 10 episode season one so much like you all if you're excited for this uh february 21st is when you'll be able to see the entire series but man let me tell you the first five episodes bananas absolutely bananas and like I have, like when you think about this everything jordan peele has touched recently has just been amazing so him being an executive producer in this was absolutely a yeah and then part two amazon has had an amazing slate of original series from the expanse the boys undone um the uh what else just just tons of things man in the high castle uh carnival road just so many that this I just I, I just knew this was just going to be good um, and that it was very very exciting first five episodes so I have a ton of notes because I'm covering five episodes so you're going to have to bear with me just a little bit as I can make sure I get you the information that you need no spoilers just enough so that you can get excited for this as well too come February 21st but before we start I think it's best that we start off reading the synopsis so you know what Hunters is so, it reads, a, a diverse band of Nazi hunters living in 1977, New York City, discovers hundreds of high-ranking Nazi officials are conspiring to create a Fourth Reich in the U.S. This elected team was set out on a bloody quest to bring them to justice. So, that is the short uh, little synopsis of it, but I will have the longer beefier version in the description below and also i got a tons of good things for you guys to read number one let's read uh for you guys which is going to be displayed on the screen in a second is letters from the executive producer jordan peele and from the creator in jordan wow um reading it reading these letters and like understanding um uh, where their mindset was going into this project would give you just another deep appreciation uh, for this this series. So here are the letters for you to read now. So this series has some really recognizable and notable names attached to it. Besides just the creator and executive producer, uh, the cast, number one, Al freaking Pacino. I mean, the very first moment, very first episode, Al Pacino's on screen, you're like, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And here is a clip of it for you right now. Yeah. Oh. Jonah, Jonah, it's all right, it's all right. Jonah, uh, come, oh. come, it's all right. I see it, I see it. Here it is. Who are you? It's in this place. Who the f are you, it's CIA? Just press. Huh? press. Massad? Oh, Kindler. No, I work only for myself. Though I suppose I represent six million clients. Why was she saying she was after him? Because she was. We both were. You know that photograph you stole from me? Your grandmother took it the day before she died. She would never let us pursue anyone without her verification. Pursue? Pursue who? Nazis, Jonah. Goddamn. Gold ribbon, grade A Nazis. But also, as you can see, joined on the screen with him is Logan Lerman, who you have known from the Percy Jackson series and or the perks of being a wallflower. Uh, when you, 
Let me tell you how you just grow with this character in a sense that you just quickly be invested to the point that um, it sends you on just an emotional toll itself because the things that he has to embody as an actor to really uh, create the tone and essence that this character needs is just absolutely amazing i mean we're talking about nazis so we already know we're talking about uh, the holocaust which is as sensitive as it is um and considering what his character um represents in this uh, or has to go through in this series uh you just I, i'm telling you as like the antagonist you just you just really get behind him on this uh, uh, actually he, the protagonist but <laughs> Uh, you can see little glimpses of antagonistic uh, demeanor behind him, shall I say. Uh, but yeah, this this show has other notable cast members as well. Uh, Tiffany Boone, who's from one of my shows, The Shy, uh, who walked away from that project. Good to see her back in something I really want to watch. And she um, is phenomenal in this. Uh, Jerka Hinton is very good. Um as uh, Millie Morris, uh, you might have seen her from The Roommate. Uh, who else is in this? I'm kind of forgetting. Uh, it, there's the, oh, how can I forget? Greg Austin, who plays Travis, uh, you may uh, um, uh, you may have seen him from Mr. Selfridge uh, a couple of years ago. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, give me every bit of this. Born the Born series of Born franchise bad guy all the way here. Uh, yeah, absolutely yeah. Very just demonic, meticulous. Just yes, all yeses for me. My favorite of the hunters, <laughs> Mr. Lonnie Flash, who's played by Josh Ratnor. Uh, yeah, I don't even have to say anything for you on that because I just like to see this clip right here as why he's. Hi, uh, it's your favorite star screen and stage and I want to give you all my money. Okay, I'm the executive branch manager. An associate is normally in charge of opening accounts. Yeah, well, I don't know if you recognize me, but I'm a lot a bit famous, and I don't really want to go over to normally and get mobbed. Let me help you out. We look different in the flesh. I'll give you a hint. L. O. N. N. Why flash? So let's get into the gist of this. So the first thing I got to say is that when it comes to Jordan Peele, who's been, I mean, really synonymous with horror films um, and just really unconventional style of storytelling, uh, he absolutely kills this more of a mystery slash crime, more of a conspiracy thriller series. But with every project that he's touched has always been complimented by an amazing score because the guy just knows how to pick composers period um and some of some of his like i say most famous projects the scores attached to him have also been very like you know well on to be on to just been famous in itself uh the score for this is just that good uh it just makes the transition between scenes very smooth and uh, flawless because uh, sometimes in some of the scenes the dynamics change because sometimes it's very serious with gore to uh, switching over to a vignette that is just a complete gag rule of, of some sort but it's absolutely needed and then it just goes back into like the think pieces of like okay what's happening here I need to figure out like you know what's 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 you know what's being connected what's what's really what's the real undertone theme of this scene you know what i mean um he just does a really phenomenal job you can see his fingerprints uh absolutely throughout the first five episodes and i absolutely expect it for the entire uh rest of the season 
Uh, this movie used a lot of comic book style captions and graphics, uh, much like how uh, the boys kind of did. But especially, okay, episode two when they introduced the hunters and they show it with like the vignette packages and the the screen the, with the the fonts and everything. It's just it's just so dope. It it really is like. Um, it's, it gives so much character to who these characters are because all of the hunters have different backgrounds, uh, ethnicity, so to say, and uh, just everything. They're just complete diverse uh, group of people, and the way how they have to introduce them is just it's just really really cool. Uh, also, I feel like each episode really does bring something different, uh, and it's in, in their own entertaining way. I don't feel like you watch five episodes and you're just like, all right, one to two, two to three, blah, blah, blah. It's like one. And then it's just like, okay, I know how you get two. And like, I get why two is connected to one. And each of them start like with a different tone, different set locations, which I absolutely love too. Um, it's just, it's. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, also, like I said, for him to be really synonymous with like the horror, if you want to consider it. But like, yes, more synonymous with that little bit of a horse slash scare tactic of uh, of a genre at uh, this show he just I, I he just shows the complete versatility of his uh, executive producing role in Jordan Peele and you know not to take anything f- from um from David Wilde but the two of them together is just flawless and I just love how they complement each other and again by reading the, the letters earlier you just see why they were just made and fit to want to be able to tell this story and uh, and get this series done. Uh, I absolutely love the story that is written and created by David Wilde here with the compliments of uh, Jordan Peele. Uh, but every episode for the first five uh, episodes have been an hour plus in timing. So they're very thick with a lot going on. There's just a lot of good parts of the episodes that you want to make sure that you're tuned in you're not distracted because you can miss details that can be very significant for episodes to come and uh i think that's pretty pretty cool uh this i i don't know why i even say this in the beginning the opening video for this series is just absolutely cool i love it i love the theme to it uh, I could just watch it just over and over if I could. Much like how Daredevil theme is for on Netflix for me. Uh, this opening theme is just absolutely cool. And I cannot spoil it because I wanted to say something. But this is so cool. And I think you guys will love it as well too. Um, but yeah, let's kind of get into each episode really quick now. And then uh, we'll wrap it up. So, episode, so uh, w- one quick thing. Each episode has really cool names, and um, it's really cool because it's like, yeah, I would have named it that way, at least how I think. But I love like the really cool uh, styling and like how the names are synonymous with either something that happened within the episode or just like the overall message uh, that it's implying. So episode one, the belly of the whale. So I'm going to read this one through. Um, a little bit because this legit sets the tone for what you're going to expect for the series. So Joan, Jonah, uh, who I again said is uh, played by Logan uh, Lerman. Uh, so he is just a regular, ordinary, comic book loving, pot dealing teenage teenager um, in in Brooklyn, Brooklyn night. Until uh, his grandmother, who was a Holocaust survivor, was murdered one night by an unknown assassin. And at her uh, Shiva, he meets a mysterious millionaire named Mayor Myers, uh, who is played by Al Pacino, um, who seems to know more about the murder than he lets on. Meanwhile, the FBI agent uh, Millie Morris is tasked with investigating the mysterious death of an elderly NASA scientist down in Florida. So, with that being said, uh, we kind of follow this mystery throughout the entire uh, season. Of you know what was this? Why was his grandma so important? What was Myers tied to her? What happens to you know to the, the grandson and Jonah? How does that affects his life? His friends? How does he get introduced to the hunters? Who was the mysterious person that went after his grandma? Who's actually the backing behind the mysterious uh, assassin? It's a lot that's going on. Why the FBI is tied to it? 
what does NASA and the government has to deal with this? It's so much going on and you will absolutely love this. Again, you have five good, oh, excuse me, you'll have 10 episodes at least from the first five. They're an hour plus. You, you're going to love it. You're going to be hooked. You, you're not going to want to leave. So you got to iron out a good 10, 11 hours of your day. Uh, to get through this because once it drops on February 21st, you're just going to be tied in with just an amazing ride brought to you by uh, Amazon Prime Video. Um, I don't know what else more to say. I mean, there are there are little snippets and stuff I can remind you of, like the barbecue scene in episode one. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Travis, who I mentioned earlier in episode two, stopping by the family dinner in Florida. That's going to be kind of interesting. Um, God, episode three, which is one of my favorites, when Lonnie Flash, how to spot a Nazi t television segment. Oh, you're going <laughs> to... Man, I'm telling you, the television segments are just that funny. They're just really that entertaining. Um, what else is going on? Uh, episode four, we get to see more of a like a bank heist going on, uh, and why did why why are they doing the heist? What's 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 in there that they're looking for? What is that thing that they're looking for? What does it mean? There's a lot of that going on. Then episode five, I think, just to really quickly. Uh, put that into wraps is that uh there's a couple of good things going on uh there's a special meal for a special person which you get you could imagine uh the nazis uh visit huntsville tv segment again the tv segments are just nuts it's just funny it's it's just really good there's so much that's going on you're gonna get laughs you're gonna get like oh my god my favorite gif on the guy when he's like blinking like that uh, you're gonna have a bunch of those moments because the, go the gore the killing um, all that, the, the 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 fighting, the the unpredictability, it's all in there for you. But I can't wait to you guys check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you're expecting, and bounce back here once it drops because I um, have to review the last five episodes. So we'll have that video going. But before then, let me know what you're thinking. Hit me up in the comments. And February 21st, Hunters drops on Amazon Prime Video.